real. Good morning. <laughs> uh, we're here in Alaska. Just woke up for our first day. We arrived here yesterday around uh, five o'clock, and. I just did a cold water shower. The tap water here is no joke for all you cold water plungers. If you uh, can't find a body of water, just fly to Alaska and you'll get your fix with the tap water. No excuses for not being able to do a polar plunge. All right, people. Is this a double yoker? Oh, double okay. yoker. Look at that. <laughs> it's we'll a do. huge shell. A double yoker from the backyard. Yeah. From the backyard. Yeah, it's awesome. There he is. Editor master. <laughs> there. Not your typical smoothie. What's going on? Well, we put a caribou in there. <laughs> a caribou heart. <laughs> so you put uh, four chunks of the caribou heart in there? Mm -hmm. And you freeze them and uh, what's that? Other than keeping the smoothie cold, what's a good reason to f freeze your raw caribou heart? If there happens to be any parasite like in your fish or your game meat, it will kill it. Nice. So what else is in here? Yup. <laughs> this, this could make us into superheroes. <laughs> yeah, this sounds like a pre-workout sh**. Cracking those double yolks, vibrant yellow or orangish. And we were kind of uh, just theorizing why some chicken yolks are much darker and more vibrant and some are much more pale and yellow. Because they were saying they went to a local farm the other day and they were kind of much paler and yellower than theirs. And uh... They were, their theory is they when they start throwing scraps in there, they notice the vibrancy of the yolks went up, like the caribou scraps and the fish scraps, that the uh, yolk looked a lot healthier. What do you think it is? How do you get those vibrant yolks? Ever seen a chicken eat a caribou? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they do. I really like lifting up logs and stuff and getting the worms for them. So. Some tips we're learning about how to keep your hens laying throughout the winter were to keep them warm through different kind of foods. Mm -hmm. and, and that was like foods such as cayenne, hot mash. Mm -hmm. What other tricks were there? Um, like peels of vegetables. I just throw them in a, in a pot and heat them up for them. Keeps their bodies warm. Wow. Warm, and then I feed them real hot water. Real hot water. So, so even the chickens need a little heat during the winter. <laughs> Uh, especially up here in Alaska. <laughs> and they love the fat. Some grass fed cheese. <laughs> <laughs> they poop it all out and it goes back onto the ground. So, this is like a real urban garden out here. You're right on the side of the street and you have all this stuff going on. Some nice permaculture practices for sure. Mm -hmm. The kids' favorite thing is to go around and grab. <laughs> so right here we have lamb's quarter, or also known as fat hen because it can make your hen fat. And there's dandelion and lamb's quarter all over the place and apparently uh, her children love just grabbing it all and feeding it to the chickens. And even the dog eats the dandelion. See that? There's no reason to have backyards without gardens in them anymore. A little bee pollen on top. Whoa. Whoa. One of the best smoothies I've ever had. Daniel's jacket's, uh, he just got a jacket, it's waterproof, but I got a jacket that's ugly proof. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fun to think about drinking this smoothie with caribou heart in it, that the, uh, the heart, the adventures that heart has been on, the caribou takes its heart with it, takes its heart with it everywhere it goes and its whole life it must have seen and experienced so many different things and to have that energy come into our body oh is uh it's kind of crazy yeah i got one of that too i think it's something on your tongue then what is that <laughs> i think that's some of the saturated fat from the heart Even with all the stevia, bee pollen, the pine pollen, and coconut oil and all that, the very lasting thing that I taste in my mouth is the organ meat. That heart has a strong flavor. Where's the uh, pig chicken? Oh, hold on, let's say one more time, ready? Yeah, take two. <laughs> Where's the pig chicken cow in uh, 
horse. <laughs> You won't find me in one of the, well, maybe in the winter. What do you got there, Daniel? Oh, just some raspberries essential for my health. <laughs> You're like a bear lately. I'm on the bear diet. Fish fruit and free, baby. We got some cherries. My chin can hardly fit. I know, the chin bra. Let's check out the dog vlog. That looks like Alaska now. Is that a husky, you think? They have a fair here where they do the world's largest cabbage. <laughs> Sometimes they get big as houses. <laughs> this one's pretty small. <laughs> it doesn't have this chin though. That's a fairly advanced piece of broccoli. What's up? This allows me to fish for a whole day. I get to catch as many salmon as I can eat. <laughs> Who would have known Walmart could support that? <laughs> Supply. Never come to Walmart. <clears throat> it's bad. Place. It's good lighting. So once again, we're showing you guys what we eat. We just stopped at this little health grocery store, and uh, I got some overripe figs and some chia seed kombucha. Um, hopefully, these will produce a good BM <laughs> and. Uh, what do you guys think about molding figs? See the white mold on the outside? You think that's alright to eat? I guess uh, hopefully it causes some kind of reaction. I went with the organic dark chocolate kombucha myself without the chia. Alright, we just pulled up here in uh, our host family here in Anchorage Let's Bar. Their cool truck with an awesome exhaust makes you feel powerful. And we just pulled up here to Southside Fitness. Strength and fitness, baby. We're about to go get our workout on. You know, this Alaska weather and everything, and this After traveling. It's been one day. We've had, we haven't been in Alaska in a full day, but I need to get, instead of just maintaining fitness on the road, I'm trying to get stronger. Okay. <laughs> do you want to make an Americana, or do you want to do what I used to do? Giving me options here. Okay. Here we have a shot of espresso in each paper cup. An Americano is just steaming it with hot water and that's the closest you have to brewed coffee, but only it's fresher and more stimulating than brewed coffee. Yeah, let's do this then. That would be hot water. Or you could do what I used to do after working 12 hours at the jail, tired mentally and physically, and also eating way too many donuts. Correctional officer, it's a matter of uh, doctrine I think. Okay, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Really and then I would go to the gym and before the gym was be an espresso bar and I would just take a shot get a shot of espresso. Well let's keep it uh let's keep it <laughs> nice and hot in tradition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah I'm just a little worried about the heat. <laughs> Great espresso. Let me see how no water, no nothing. <laughs> Sludge that'd cup. Be, that'd be too hot. We call that. that. <laughs> is it that? Is that, that? We, we, we call it a sludge cup. <laughs> this one, is. He's got a strong cup. This is the old. <laughs> this is the old timer energy drink. I'm just getting warmed up. But I like how the South Side Strength and Fitness takes their ab roller seriously because you know, the animal's favorite classic workout. Is strong in this gym. Yeah. It's a strong voice. This gym creates strong people. <laughs> system to drop down to the receiving position for Olympic lifting, cleans and snatches. I'm picking my feet up. So I'm not going to jump. I'm just going to pick my feet up. I'm going to pick them up fast enough that there's air before my dropping body smacks the floor against my feet. So no jumping, just pick the feet up. Okay? So that's the receiving position. Slow motion. Okay. Thanks to our uh, certification by Troy Casey of being health nuts, you know the Rob Draws have traveled all over the world looking at all kinds of gyms, but this one definitely has a unique flavor to it. 
and I just so happened to be uh, sitting here or standing here with one of the owners. Uh, family-run business, and what's the backstory? Like, how did this whole thing come about? Uh, my dad uh, and mom owned the gym. What happened was my dad was uh, coaching Special Olympics weightlifting um, in 2009, and um, this little rundown gym was the only place that allowed the use of chalk for, for lifting. So, um, good stuff. I um, signed a lease and took it on and started remodeling. And um, during the remodeling, my dad actually fell, hit his head, and so we had to deal with the brain injury hospital thing. And um, that was kind of... You know, it brought the family together, and my yeah. brother and I did a lot of the the remodeling ourselves. So, blood, sweat, and tears. This is all our. This is our family now. So. Wow. And yeah. chalk. And chalk, and we blood, still sweat, have the tears chalk. And chalk. And we let you drop the weights. I like that. Was cool. That's definitely <laughs> yeah. you. Get, you definitely like that more of a hardcore, like serious training. Just another day. Yeah. Mixed in with like any of the work. Okay. So. Have yeah. your lawyer contact my lawyer. lawyer and and this one out. Lunch. <laughs> it's your favorite. It is my favorite. I kept it. All right. Cool. Yeah. I do have my mind watching these guys lift the heavy weights is it seems like at an older age I'd be worried about my joints going out or my back going out but I see he's uh, 50 something right 54 I'll be 55 in two months 55 in two months and he doesn't seem to have any uh, issues <laughs> <laughs> I mean not as noticeable twice a week this weight room will be full of my special Olympics and coaches that's awesome man yeah I feel stronger just hanging out here <laughs> That smoothie I had today was uh, pretty hearty. This is a, a traditionally nourishing meal. Bone broth. This is a bone broth soup, baby. Weston A. Price. This is Weston A. Price approved. Rob Ross brewed. Yeah, I tell you, if you eat enough hearts, you will get that love in your heart, baby. Guaranteed. Hey guys, it's been a good day here in Anchorage. <clears throat> We spent most of the day in the city in the concrete jungle. Tomorrow we head out to the real jungle. But uh, we're going to end the day. We're here with some bone broth soup, as Daniel was describing to you. With a little glass of raw, raw Anchorage milk. This is a meal that we would consider a good meal. Okay. This is condoned by the bras. That smoothie I had today was pretty lovely. <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie. The host with the most. <laughs> She's really running for that title right now because uh, earlier today we had the uh, caribou heart smoothie. And that was, I wasn't just being friendly for the camera. That was one of the best smoothies I've ever had. And I'm not a huge fan of chicken, I'll tell you. But this curry chicken bone broth soup she's made here, wow. I, this is probably some of the tastiest chicken I've ever had in my life. So Bonnie, you know what you're doing when it comes to food. Real deal. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You wanna get a little taste on camera? Yeah. So, Bonnie, you need to start your YouTube channel. Start it now, so now these recipes. Yeah, you know, uh, Danimal has me always use my card to pay for things, and he's created this this tab, right, that, where he owes me money. And I'm beginning to question whether that tab is ever going to be paid off or not. I love being hydrated, and you know the solution to pollution is dilution, but I'll tell you guys, I like to dehydrate myself before I go to sleep, because what's just as important as uh, being hydrated is being fully rested and getting that full night's sleep, and you don't want to break up that deep sleep for a long pee.